This is the Dynamic Text Box. It works with any text, any color, and it's all on one layer. But you may be wondering, how do I actually animate this? Well, let's find out how exactly to do that. So here I am in After Effects, and if you've been following along with our previous tutorial on the dynamic text box, you'll be at this point, where you have a text box being applied to our text layer thanks to our effects controls on the left. But the problem is, how do you actually animate this? You can't just go to the presets and drop something on. It doesn't quite apply to the dynamic text box properly. So I'm going to show you how I animate our dynamic text box. Now the first thing is deciding the direction we want to animate. And in this case, we're going to go from left to right like so. It's going to apply from the first letter, which is this M, and it's going to go through until it reveals this last letter, the H. Now how we do that is we're going to go over to our text layer, and if you toggle down, you'll get this option called Animate. Now in here, we have a whole heap of different properties that we can animate about our individual characters or words or lines in a text layer. In this case, we're going to be animating the scale. Now you'll see it gives me this range selector along with the property that I selected. And if I drag that property around, you can see it makes things change around. But for this animation that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to only be animating in the horizontal or X axis. So I'm going to go down to the link option or constrain proportions and uncheck that. And then I'm going to click the horizontal scale and type zero. So you can see it's disappeared now. And if I open up the range selector and start dragging around the start, end and offset options, you can see how it applies. So as I drag along, it starts applying. And what I'm saying here is within this space of the text layer from the 43% amount through to the 100% amount of that text layer, I want this property to apply. Now I could go to say 25 and 50 ish and you can see it's now only applying within that space. And again, if I use the offset and drag it along, you can see, oh, look, it's only applying within that space. Now, the other thing we have is in the advanced options, a lot of different options in here. You can see if I toggle to say subtract, now it's only applying within that space. I could even change the shape of it. So ramping up into it, I can ramp down, I can do this sort of triangle shape like so where it kind of does this interesting sort of look. I can do this round sort of shape, which again, but you can see it's kind of hard to visualize exactly what's going on. So if I drag zero, 100%, I'll go this to zero. And you can see we've got the subtract and the shape uh, being round. But if I toggle on this other layer, you can see, all right, visualizing exactly what's going on. So you can see as I drag this offset along, it's going from completely applying that scale property to actually not applying it here at the peak of our round shape. And then as we drag along, it removes and goes back to revealing nothing, which is all well and good, you know, like we can animate from our first letter, it animates in, and it's nice and it's easing in all these different uh, letters at the same time. So it's nice and smooth, but you can see it starts removing stuff as well. So we're gonna have to add a second range selector in order to actually ensure that our text layer stays there afterwards. So we kind of ease out into our final position. So we'll go to our animator one, we'll go to add, and we're gonna go to selector and range. Now we'll go to range selector here, we'll toggle down. So we got range selector to advanced, and we're gonna to toggle the mode to min. Now you won't see much here because it's not really applying to any space, but you can see, say if I drag the start, you can see what starts happening there. So you can see our line starts coming back in like so. I could even have it come from the other side, you know, but I'm actually going to have it come in here. So this is sort of what I want it to have happen to ease in and then remain there. So you can see what it's doing to our actual dynamic text box and text layer like so. So in order to actually make this a bit easier, so we can only keyframe the one property rather than a whole heap of other properties, we're gonna add an expression to our range selector too. So we'll hold the Alt and click on the stopwatch and we'll type linear, left parentheses, and then we'll use this pick whip 
to select the offset. Now we're going to type comma, and we'll type minus 50, comma 50, and then comma 0, comma 100. Right parentheses and semicolon to close that off like so. So now you can see it's applying like so. And as I drag our offset of our range selector one, you can see now it's going to animate in from that first letter, go through, and as I animate in, the text remains there. So what I can do is drag that offset all the way to minus 100%, click the stopwatch to set a keyframe, and then say go forward to 2%, and we're going to drag it forward until everything's sort of eased in. And that is around 50%. Now we've got our two keyframes there. And what we can do is even select these, right click, go to keyframe assistant and add, add our easy ease. Just to add a little bit more easing to make it feel a little bit more natural. And if we preview that, we'll go forward. And we'll preview that over the two seconds and you can see it's this nice smooth animation you can see because we're doing it in purely the horizontal scale we're not doing this weird scale up into our box so it actually has a nice ease smooth easing into all the different letters and the box animation isn't too jarring one issue would be if we were to say instead of do round instead to say do smooth you can see it's appearing right at the start but it's already the full size of the box but our text isn't really that big so it actually looks pretty weird you can see it's kind of jumps ahead so at least if we're using the round our text is a bit more visible there and it feels a lot more natural so you can see that is how we animate in our dynamic text box using a text layer so we've added a animator for the scale, we've set it to zero in the horizontal and kept the vertical at 100. And then we've used one range selector with the subtract mode and the shape as being round. And we've added a second range selector where the mode is min and the shape is square. And then we've added a linear equation to range selector to start property and then applied the offset with a keyframe to animate everything. And now everything runs off one animation. It's nice and smooth and it doesn't matter. I can go in and change this and the animation will apply nice and easy across all of it, the same as how you would with anything else. So that's how you animate the dynamic text box. If you have any other questions regarding the dynamic text box, feel free to hit up the comment section down below. Otherwise, my name is Bench. Thanks for watching.